Did you know that improperly tilted solar panels could cost you up to 30% of your energy output? That's right. Having your panels installed at the wrong angle could mean wasting thousands of dollars in potential savings over their lifetime. But here's the thing. Getting the right tilt angle isn't as simple as pointing them at the sun. It depends on where you live, the time of year, and even your energy consumption habits. But here's the exciting part. With just a few simple calculations, you can find the optimal tilt angle for your solar panels and maximize your energy production no matter where you are in the world. In today's video, we're diving deep into the science of solar panel angles, and by the end, you'll have the tools to calculate the best angle for your home or business. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. To understand why the tilt angle is so important, let's first talk about how solar panels capture sunlight. Solar panels are most effective when they're perpendicular to the sun's rays. Think of it like a magnifying glass. When it's perfectly aligned with the light, it focuses all the energy in one spot. But when it's slightly off, that energy scatters and the effect is reduced. The Earth's tilt and orbit around the sun mean that the sun's position in the sky changes throughout the year. For example, in the summer, the sun is higher in the sky, and in the winter, it's much lower. If your solar panels are fixed at the wrong angle, they'll miss out on a lot of sunlight during certain seasons. That's why calculating the perfect tilt angle is essential. It ensures your panels capture the maximum amount of sunlight year-round, boosting efficiency and savings. Here's a good rule of thumb to start with. Your solar panel's tilt angle should match your latitude. For example, if you live at a latitude of 40 degrees, your solar panel should ideally be tilted at 40 degrees from horizontal. This works because your latitude reflects the average position of the sun throughout the year. But here's where it gets interesting. This approach is just a starting point. If you want to get the most energy production possible, you'll need to adjust for the seasons. During the summer, you might need to tilt your panel slightly lower to match the high position of the sun. In the winter, you tilt them higher to capture the lower sun. Some solar enthusiasts even adjust their panels a few times a year to keep them optimized. But don't worry, we'll explain how to calculate all of this in just a moment. Now, let's talk about seasonal adjustments. The sun's position changes because of the Earth's axial tilt. In the summer, the sun is more directly overhead, which means your panels should have a shallower tilt, typically about 15 degrees less than your latitude. For instance, if you're at 40 degrees latitude, you might tilt your panels to 25 degrees during the summer months. In the winter, the opposite happens. The sun sits lower in the sky, so you'll need a steeper tilt, about 15 degrees more than your latitude. Using the same 40 degree example, you tilt your panels to 55 degrees during the winter. These adjustments ensure that your panels are always capturing sunlight at the most efficient angle for the time of year, resulting in significantly higher energy output. Now, you might be wondering, do I really need to adjust my solar panels all the time? The answer is no. Not everyone has the time or equipment to do that. For most homeowners, a fixed tilt angle works just fine. To find the best fixed angle for year-round energy production, you'll still start with your latitude, but you'll make a small adjustment based on your specific needs. If you're trying to maximize energy during the winter months, you'll tilt your panels a little higher. If your main concern is summer air conditioning bills, you'll go a little lower. But here's the best part. Modern solar systems are so efficient that even a small deviation from the perfect angle won't make a huge difference. If you set your panels at an angle close to your latitude, you'll already be capturing most of the available sunlight. What if you didn't have to worry about tilt angles at all? That's where solar tracking systems come in. These advanced systems use motors and sensors to automatically adjust your panels throughout the day, ensuring they're always at the optimal angle. Some tracking systems even change position seasonally, so you never have to lift a finger. While these systems are more expensive up front, 
they can increase your energy production by 20 to 30 percent, making them a worthwhile investment for larger solar installations. However, for most residential setups, a fixed or manually adjusted tilt angle is still the most cost-effective option. Now, let's get to the fun part, calculating your perfect tilt angle. To do this, you'll need two key pieces of information. Firstly, your latitude. You can easily find this on Google. Secondly, your energy priorities. Do you want to maximize for summer, winter, or year-round production? Here's the formula. For year-round optimization, set your tilt angle to your latitude. And for summer, subtract 15 degrees from your latitude. While for winter, add 15 degrees to your latitude. For example, if your latitude is 35 degrees, so year-round is 35 degrees, while in the summer is 20 degrees. In turn, in the winter is 50 degrees. It's that simple. If you want to get even more precise, there are online tools and apps that calculate tilt angles based on your exact location and local weather patterns. These tools can help you fine-tune your setup to get the maximum energy output. And there you have it, the secret to calculating the best tilt angle for your solar panels. By optimizing your panels, you can maximize your energy output, save money on your electricity bills, and reduce your carbon footprint all at once. Whether you're adjusting for the seasons, setting a fixed angle, or investing in a tracking system, every degree makes a difference. So, what's your next step? Have you already optimized your solar panels, or are you just getting started with your solar journey? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with anyone thinking about going solar. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.